the red, the second baseman, Mike Moustakas. What's up guys, Bryce Nickerson here coming at you guys with a brand new video. Today's video I'm going to be talking about the free agent signing, Mike Moustakas going to the Cincinnati Reds on a four year deal worth $64 million. As a Brewers fan, it's hard to see Yasmani Grandal and Mike Moustakas leave the Brewers because these guys were a huge part of our playoff run last year, and Mike Moustakas was with the Brewers two years, and both years we made the playoffs. So huge thank you to Mike Moustakas for the years that he had with the Milwaukee Brewers, the playoff, uh, the playoff experience that he brought to this team, and um, it was really great just having him uh, on the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, the Cincinnati Reds lineup is going to look stacked next year. We got Nick Senzel, Joey Votto, Ingenio Suarez, Mike Moustakis, Artesinas Aquino, Jesse Winker, Tucker Barnhart, and Freddie Galvis. The Cincinnati Reds lineup is stacked, and they're really making a run um, at to be a competitive playoff team next year. And it's going to be another tight division in the NL Central. The Brewers got to make some moves, though. Because uh, it's looking like losing Yasmani Grandel and Mike Moustakas is going to hurt him unless they make some big moves, such as signing maybe Josh Donaldson. That, that would be very cool if the, the Brewers could sign Josh Donaldson. Uh, but hopefully the Brewers can get some pitching. Hopefully the Brewers can get another uh, big bat in their lineup after losing Grandel and Mike Moustakas. And yeah, we can go from there. Uh, also, we got uh, Josh Hader in trade rumors uh, as of lately. Josh Hader um, has made available for the Brewers, and honestly, I think that's a good idea for the Brewers if they were to trade uh, Josh Hader, but only if they get a huge haul, uh, some of the teams interested, such as the Mets and Astros, but who wouldn't want Josh Hader in the back end of their bullpen? He is lights out, um, reigning NL reliever of the year for the Brewers, um, all-star, he is amazing. Um, Josh Hader, one of the best, if not the best, relief pitcher in baseball, so if the Brewers do trade him, I hope they get an absolute huge haul for them are uh, for him and uh, he deserves it he deserves uh you know a huge hole so i mean if the brewers can get a big bat and a big starting pitcher and a, a good bullpen arm for hater i say pull the trigger and go for it um some of the packages maybe include jd davis uh edwin diaz uh maybe uh some prospects from the mets if we were to trade him to the mets but, you know, hopefully the uh, Brewers can make some big trades, uh, some big free agent signings, and get back on track to make another playoff appearance in a very tight NL Central with the Cubs now and the Cincinnati Reds being very competitive. And the Cardinals, of course, are always a pain in the ass. So thank you guys so much for watching this little uh, free agent update Let's video. Uh, Mike Moustakas going to the Reds no, on a four-year deal. Uh, best of luck to Moose. Uh, loved you on the Brewers. Uh, one of my favorite players ever, actually. It was so fun watching him play at Miller Park, and it's going to be tough uh, seeing him in a Reds uniform, uh, you know, playing at Miller Park against the Brewers instead of playing on the Brewers. Um, but it is what it is. It is baseball. Hopefully the Brewers can, uh, you know, spend some money, bring out the checkbooks, and have a competitive season next year. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have more uh, free agent and trade update videos. And uh, when MLB The Show 20 comes out, I'll be doing a lot of videos on that as well. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.